Giants Live, the world's strongest man tour, mixing the world's biggest arenas with the world's most powerful men. For the fifth year in a row, the world's strongest men come back to Mohegan Sun. 12 athletes competing over six grueling events. The crowd packing into the arena here, 5,000 in the audience, and let's meet our athletes. Of course, home favorites Derek Poundstone, but he's up against 11 other national champions, Boris Harrelson from Iceland. Gerard Benderoff, a former New York City policeman representing the USA. Jimmy Marku from Great Britain. Johannes Orho, the current Swedish number one, just 22 years old. Louis-Philippe Jean, Canada's strongest man, very improved. Mark Felix, fourth at World's Strongest Man, 06. Big Brian Shaw, biggest man in the contest at 440 pounds and 6 foot 8. Terry Hollands, former Britain's Strongest Man, podiumed at World's Strongest Man in 07. So too did Venter, he came second. The big pole, 6 foot 7 tall. Travis Ortmeyer from Texas. Madison Square Garden champion last year. Misha Koklaev, seven times national weightlifting champion of Russia. And the local hero, local policeman, and current world number one, Derek Poundstone. First event then, and it's the timber frame carry. 800 pounds, and it has to be carried 50 foot up, turn around, and come back another 50 foot. 60 seconds in which to do this task. Boris Harrelson was first out, he did just 32 feet. Gerard Benderoth couldn't do any better, 12 feet. Jimmy Marku, again at the 32 foot mark, didn't make the halfway. Johannes Arho managed to turn 53 feet. Mark Felix, First man to finish the course in 31.2 seconds. Louis-Philippe Jean came up short. So oh. home of the contest and his big Brian Shaw, six foot eight, 440 pounds from Denver, Colorado. Against Terry Hollins. And there's very few men who are bigger than Terry. Six foot six himself, 400 pounds, 180 kilos, big Terry. As Gregor Edmonds, our head referee, gets us underway here. And both men struggling to find the balance on these awkward implements. Made by an Amish house builder. 800 pounds in weight. That's uh, getting up close to uh, 380 kilos. Oh, and Brian Shaw picks it up again. Once you drop it and turn around, it's hard to get it up. But uh, Shaw over the line. He's faster than Felix. 25.76 seconds. Holland still trying to keep this going. Still has time, but you can see his grip is in real trouble. Shaw in a commanding position now, though. Can Holland do any more? No, he's stopping there. 67 feet. Brian, be honest, you knew you were going to do well in this event. It is probably your best event, right? Yeah, you know, I, I definitely have one of the best grips in the world. I got off a little little bit on that, as, as you saw, I was tilting like crazy. But you know, I'm, luckily I got a, not, a good enough grip to hold on and got it done in, in a you know pretty easy run. So we'll see that, hopefully it'll hold up. Well, hopefully you still have uh, Poundstone, Kuklaev and those guys. What do you reckon to those, to those guys? Uh, I don't think they can get me. I think we got it. You heard it, it's here for Brian. <laughs> Travis Ortmeier, the big Texan. Taking on Sebastian Venter, second at World's Strongest Man in 07. Ortmeier, fifth in World's Strongest Man last year, his first attempt at it. Oh, and it's Ortmeier who's up and away, and Venter already in trouble here. Ortmeier nearly at the turn. Sebastian Venter, who's uh, Polish shot put champion in the past, training for athletics again, and perhaps he's just lost a little bit of absolute strength. Sven Carlsen in the background there, just making sure they cross the line. Ortmar gets the pick up, he doesn't want to drop this again. He's not as fast as Shaw, that time's gone, but it's quick. 
And Venter is barely off the start line. Great effort from Ortmar. Mr. Ortmar into second place. Second place, you happy with that? No. Second place is first loser. That sucks. <laughs> I got to hand it to Brian, though. He had a good run. It was awesome, wasn't he? How could you have done that any better? Well, I could have taken less time on the turnaround. Yeah, hey, regripping probably killed me a couple of seconds. That's okay for now. Well done. Well done. Our next pairing are the two favourites for many here, Michael Kuklaev of Russia, who's come over to the world's strongest man scene for the first time, up against Derek Poundstone. Winning in, in Mohegan last year is probably one of my uh, greatest wins so far. I mean, I've, I've won some other big, big competitions, but I think um, winning in front of a home crowd is, is definitely probably the best feelings ever. You know, I was obviously extremely happy when I beat Marius, but the, you know, I had made some mistakes and that kind of always makes you feel a little bit like as a gift, you know. Uh, you, when you want to win, you want to win with both athletes competing at their best and, um, you know, with, with some mistakes I made and then, you know, there's some, some mistakes that Marius made, you know, it left me kind of wanting more. So th this year I came in uh, much better shape than any years in the past. So uh, the last thing I'll do is I'm, I'm not going to lose on home turf, you know. <laughs> With, with Misha competing in Mohegan Sun, it's going to bring a whole other uh, dimension because Misha is the type of athlete that, you know, um, every other top athlete usually has some sort of reigning, you know, weakness. There's, there's some sort of, you know, uh, big weakness. And uh, with Misha, there's, there's really not too much weakness. A uh, really big sort of guy, you know, and he has that sort of Russian mentality. And, uh, you know, he's always a, a, a very tough competitor, but in, in the two years I've been competing against him, he's never beaten me. Um, so I have that on my side. I compete for Russia, I compete for my motherland, and I beat you, Derek Palston. Very friendly rivalry here. Kokhlaev, though, gets a slower pickup than Poundstone, who really is on great form at the moment. Second at World's Strongest Man last year, Mohegan Sun champion. And it's definitely Derek at the turn. He's going to beat Brian Shaw's time. Oh, he's gone down, though. What a quick pickup that was. And Poundstone's back on track. He takes it. 21.95, 100 feet. And Koklaev is in all kinds of trouble down the other end. He wants to get one of those top three slots to go to World's Strongest Man. The podium from this competition will guarantee themselves a place in the world final. Misha Koklaev, no, 60.7 feet. You dropped it once, but you're still in first place. You won it. That was unbelievable. You must have thought when you dropped it, it, it was probably over your chances of winning it, right? Uh, no, no, I knew I, I have some pretty quick feet. I've been training like a nut since September. I will not take second again. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> you know, this, this is my worst event. So the rest gets fun. Worst of first events, always worst event. This is the worst event for me. It's all downhill from here. Well, if that was meant to be his worst event, the others are in trouble. Poundstone on top, Shaw second, Ortmeyer third. It's America, one, two, three. So event two is the Apollon's axle. You have to lift this bar up, and this handle here is as thick as a Coke can, up to your chest, and press it overhead to straight arm. It weighs 166 kilos, the opening weight. That's way over 350 pounds. And we're going to go for a world record tonight. 186 kilos. That's over 407 pounds. In the first round, Terry Hollands failed to lift 367 pounds. So too, Mark Felix. And it's a bad day for Britain as Jimmy Mark, who also went out on the opening weight. Gerard Bender off, the big American, failed it too. Boris Halston went to the second round and went out on 389. So we're on to the third round. It's still seven athletes in this contest, and it's 409 pounds on the bar. 
That's 186 kilos, and the clock is on. He has just 45 seconds in which to make the lift. Oh, nearly! Six foot eight, those long arms. Oh, so close to the world record. That bar is so slippery. Louis Philippe Jean, 409 pounds. Can he be the new world record holder? He looked good in the previous round. Oh, the Canadian just couldn't lock his elbows. It's hard to come back from here. Oh, again, he nearly gets it. So close, yet so far. What can Venter do? Famous for having a big overhead log. Again, though, six foot seven. Oh, and the Polish competitor looking underpowered today. No one then has done this uh, world record weight. You could end up having a lot of men drawing on the same points. Well, just 22 years old, what could Johannes Arho of Sweden do? Can he get the world record? To his chest, no problem. Can he stabilise? Yes, he has, he gets the down signal. It's a new world record, and the young Swede has nailed 409 pounds. And do you think he's happy? Well, the crowd getting a real show here. Well, Magnus Samuelsson, the former great Swede, has passed over that mantle to this young man, Johannes Arho of Sweden, world record holder in a Pollen's Axel. Travis Ortmark, tough act to follow for the American now on the same weight. Can he equal? Oh, yes, he can. Two men on the world record. And that is above Ortmar's personal best. Well above it. Kokhlaev, of course, clean and jerk 250 kilos. That's over 60 kilos more, but that's on an Olympic lifting bar. Look, he's having terrible trouble with his grip. Going double overhand now. now because the bar doesn't spin, the weights don't spin on the end. Makes it very awkward for an Olympic lifter. Now, can he learn? And can he learn in time? Only 45 seconds on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one he's going to have to practice back in Russia. Derek Poundstone then, last out at this uh, new world record level. We know we have to go heavier now because Ortmar and Arho have made it. Can Poundstone join them? Yes, locks out the left arm. He said he was worth at least 20 pounds more than this, and uh, he seems to be right. Poundstone nails the 409. Difficult now for the judges. What weight do they choose? Who wants to see the world record extended? You so, D Derek, you've managed to equal the world record there. A few of you have. How much more do you think you have in the tank? I told you before, 427, the full apparatus. <laughs> you really think so? I don't know what everyone else can do, I know I can do it. All right, let's bring it on, let's jack this weight up. Well, Johannes Arjo has pulled out. He's not going for this 414 pounds. Just Ortmeier and Poundstone. <laughs> to extend the new world record by five more pounds. Oh, he just misses the jerk. That was very close to Mortmark. Very close indeed. 
Now, Travis, you said that that used to be one of your worst events, yet you just set a world record. I mean, that, that's got to feel unbelievable. Now, how did that weight feel? I know it was close, but what do you, what, what's going through your head right now? You know, it didn't feel bad, but I think maybe just another couple minutes between the two lifts and let the body catch up a little bit, and I think I might have gotten it. You know, that, that's a great point. I don't think these people realize, too. Yeah, they're on the clock right away. You have to lift right away, so you're not getting any rest. So great job, and let's see if Derek can do it. Time on then. Poundstone. 45 seconds in which to do this. And if anyone can do it, it's definitely Derek Poundstone in front of his home crowd on their feet. 414 pounds. Yes, it goes overhead. He gets the signal to put it down. And he's taking it for a walk. No problem. The new world record holder on his own. Derek Townstone, 414. I thought you were gonna take it for a walk there. Yeah, well, you know, I I always appreciate the fans. That's what I uh that's why I do this, you know. <laughs> that's what makes all the pain in the gym worth it, you know, when people come out and yell and scream. So, two events, one world record. Can he keep this streak going? Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of good athletes, but I feel good. Like I said before, I won the Arnold a couple months ago, and I wasn't in the best shape. I'm in the best shape of my life now, because uh, the last thing I want to do is lose in my own backyard. Well done, Derek Poundstone, world record holder. Derek Poundstone, two out of two, and a world record to boot. But what a show from Johannes Arho. Great day for the young Swede who sits in second with Ortmeier. Overall, Derek Poundstone on top by three and a half points. Ortmeier in second, Shaw in third. America, one, two, three. Event three is the Husafelt carry. You have to pick this near 400 pound block up and carry it up and down 50 feet as many times as possible. This one originates in Iceland, Spain. It's a tough one. It's a really tough one. And uh, according to the legend, actually the priest's daughter was able to carry the original stone for a, around the church. So the priest's daughter, she must have been a big woman. <laughs> anyway, when, when, when? we got some big men to do this task. Jimmy Mark, who came out first, 118 feet. Benderoff managed just 50. So we move on with Boris Harrelson of Iceland. And he's up against Terry Hollands. Hollands, despite being a very big man, surprisingly good at this. Well, a little bit of gamesmanship here from Hollands who wants to see what Boris is doing first. Huh, and he gets a word of warning from the referee. Well, that's uh, quite smart playing from Hollands because he can now chase Harrelson. He knows exactly what he's got to beat. Well, they both make it past the 50-foot mark. Harrelson, though, slowing up at the 100-foot mark, and Hollands is speeding up. Very impressive for a 180 kilo man. 400 pounds, Terry. Goes past the 150, and Boris falls short of that and looks exhausted. 134, Hollands hits 200. And Harrelson almost staggers in his way there, completely shattered from that, up to 250. And Terry Hollands is really laying out a benchmark for the others now. 253 for Hollands of Britain. He looked like he could have done maybe more as well if he was pushed. Terry, you needed that. Yeah, I mean, I'm right in the drop zone at the moment. Um, Obviously, I don't want to get cut after this event, so just had to go as far as I can. 
And yeah, I'm, I mean, it's a pretty good distance, but there's loads of great guys to come, so who knows if it'll hold up. Louis Philippe Jean, Canada's strongest man from Quebec, and Kuklaev, the Russian. Disappointed with his uh, Poland's axle. Starting to slip down the order as well. Kuklaev came here as one of the favourites. And at the moment, doesn't look like he'll get on the podium. He really needs to turn it round. Louis-Philippe Jean. Struggling to get a good grip. So awkward are these implements. Of course, the more you mess around with it, the tireder you get as well. Kuklaev catching at the 100-foot mark. Oh, he's just missed the line as well. We better hope the referee doesn't spot that. And down it goes. His grip let him down there. Only 110 feet for Kuklaev. Well, Jean trying to rest it on his thigh a little bit. Up over 150 feet. Slowing down to almost a halt here. 167.8, a great battle from Jean. You can see there, his arms just gave way in the end. Big Brian Shaw, long arms. Perhaps he can wrap them around that big stone. And Mark Felix. Felix has been very good at this event in the past. He's got quick feet, Felix. He's uh, struggling a bit with the pickup, though, and it's Shaw. Look how high he gets it. And he does. He gets his arms in a very good position, Brian Shaw. Six foot eight with very long arms. And the stone just doesn't look anywhere near as big against Brian Shaw as it does on the other athletes. Already up to 150 feet. He's going to be chasing Terry at 250. Felix at the 150 mark and Brian Shaw now at 200. He's got to make it to the line and turn and come back four feet to beat Hollands. Felix slowing, he doesn't make 200. 179 for Felix. And it's his touch and go. Can Shaw get to that line and turn around? Giving it everything. Oh. Gets 249.4 feet. Puts him into second. Total exhaustion. He really did give it absolutely everything, Brian Shaw. I really wanted to try to match Terry there. Got close, but we'll see. The two, the two big men doing really well in an event huge men normally don't do well in, isn't that right? Hey, you know, we, Terry and I both have real good foot speed, and you know, we kind of break the mold of the bigger guys, so we're coming for these smaller guys, you know? <laughs> well done. Thank you. Next pairing out, Travis Ortmeier. Up against Sebastian Venter. And Venter looks like uh, he's going to miss the cut here. We go down from 12 athletes to 8 after this event. And this stone, believe you me, at 400 pounds, that's the equivalent of a heavy, heavy motorbike. Crushing down on your chest. So difficult for these athletes. But they made the pickup okay, and Venter looks a bit better here. Overshot the line there by a few feet, that's wasted energy. Very difficult to see over these rocks, though. Ortmeier coming up to the 150-foot mark. So too, Venter. This is a good heat. Both men going strong. What happened to Venter there? He just seemed to give up. Well, perhaps he was blacking out a bit. Safer just to drop it. Ortmeier passes 200, comes towards 250. Can he turn and go past Hollands? He only needs three feet. He's done that. That must be five or six. Yep, 255.5. Ortmeier, the new leader. 
You're in first place, buddy. Well done. <laughs> That's good news. Thank you. <laughs> you know, came out here with a cold, traveled, and competed four weeks in a row so far. And having a cold, man, you got no, no air in your chest. And then you got that thing sitting on it. So you managed to beat Derek Poundstone in Madison Square Garden. Can you pull it back today? Of course. Pound cake's nothing. <laughs> How to make friends and influence people in Connecticut. Derek Poundstone, so popular here. A local policeman and the world number one in strongman. Pudzianowski tore his bicep earlier in the season, not doing the Giants live season because of that. Johannes Arho, the new upcoming strongman. Both of these guys fit and athletic. And you can see Derek has a bit of a technique for picking it up there. And one thing he does is he just moves as fast as he can, Poundstone. Tries to go as far as possible before he gets tired. Passes the 100 foot mark. So too Arho. 150 feet. He's going to have to go down and up again if he's going to equal the likes of Ortmeier and Hollands. Still looks strong though. The crowd getting behind him here. Arho's gone down 182.2 feet. He turns at the 250 mark, goes past Hollands and Ortmeier, and he was good for at least 50 feet more. Poundstone takes his third event. Derek Poundstone, 265.9 feet. First place again, Ortmeier second, Hollands of Britain third place. And Hollands needed that, that brings him up to sixth. And you can see the top eight who move forward from that last event. Welcome back to Mohegan Sun, Giants Live, the world's strongest man qualifying tour, event four, car deadlift for repetitions. Terry Hollands managed 14 reps with the 700 pound back end of the car. 17 reps for Louis Philippe Jean. Brian Shaw, 14 reps, great for a tall man. Felix, disappointing on 16. Normally, the best in the world. Johannes Arho, five reps. So we move on with Misha Kuklaev. Now this is something the national weightlifting champion of Russia should be very good at. Well, he's being asked to pause at the bottom so he can't try and bounce the suspension and cheat the pickup. Oh, good straight back. 330 kilos in the hand. Starting to get hard now as we move towards double figures. Chasing that figure of Louis-Philippe Jean, 17. Jean probably could have done another one. He just ran out of time at the 60-second mark. Clive catching his breath now. Still goes up easy enough. 12 reps. 13, a bit more of a struggle, and time's ticking away here. 14 reps. And calls it a day there. A few seconds still left on the clock. 14 reps for the Russian. Travis Ortmeier wastes no time, straight out here, ready to get on with it. Uh, car deadlift, I just really like a side handle car deadlift. You know, if it's good and heavy, it really separates the men from the boys. I came to Mohegan Sun, only one thing on my mind, first place. Never compete for anything less. Second place is a first loser. Well, he's not come first yet in anything. Derek Poundstone winning everything. And of course, Derek gets to follow Travis Ortmeier here, so he knows how many Travis will do. Loves this event, though. 
prefers it to a normal deadlift in front of him on a bar. This tends to suit the man with strong legs. It's almost like a leg press. Much quicker than Koklaev to the 10 reps. Of course, they, they call him the Texas Stone Man. He'll be looking forward to the last event, the Atlas Stones. But he really needs to start gaining some momentum here. A big score here and then in the log. And who knows, he could turn it round. He could still pressure Poundstone. But he suddenly hit the wall. 15 goes up. 16, one more to equal Louis Philippe. 17. And that's it, he's over. Equal first. Great effort from uh, Ortmar. He did his best there. And if Poundstone beats him now in this one of his favorite events, I think he'll have to say Poundstone is just the better man at the moment. Oh, someone there just shouting out, give me 20, Derek. And all he's got to do is get 18 for the victory. Look at the vascularity, carrying very little body fat. Looking very like uh, Marius Pudzianowski, previous winner of the Mohegan Sun. 15 reps, getting closer to that golden 18. That's all he needs for the victory, 17. He's done it, 18 reps. He, he's giving more, 19. 20 reps. He's enjoying this. A man in peak condition. So our new leader, 20 repetitions. Derek, you are on fire, my friend. There isn't a single event here you're struggling with. Your back, your back, as you said, it's as, it's better than anyone's now. It must feel good to be at the peak of your career right now. It feels good. I, I think uh, I'm just scratching the surface. You know, it's, this sport is more mental than anything because I'm not the biggest guy out here. I've got the biggest heart, you know. I think I kill myself in training. I've got a great family, a great girlfriend. And uh, who asked for 20 reps? That was for you, whoever asked for it, you know. Fourth event, and again it goes to Derek Poundstone. Ortmar gets second, equal with Louis Philippe Jean. Mark Felix, disappointment for him. Fourth place in a deadlift, he's normally first. So Poundstone in the lead, Ortmar second, Shaw third, the Canadian fourth, and it's Sweden in fifth. So we're down to our penultimate event, and it's the log press for repetitions. 140 kilos has to be lifted up and overhead as many times as possible. That's 310 pounds. Now, Sven, what are the differences between this and the axle press? Well, Colin, here we have a wooden log. It's not really balanced like a metal log would be, and it's handled inside, and it's a very long log as well. So it's going to be a tough, grueling event. Let's see who is the strongest log lifter here. Johannes Arho, who had a pretty poor deadlift when compared to the other internationals. Only five reps with that. This will be interesting to see how good Kuklaev, the Olympic weightlifter, is with a log. Nice jerk overhead. Arho had trouble but manages to lock it out. Each time, of course, has to come back down to the ground. Well, Arho ahead of Koklaev. This is a bit of a surprise here. Well, we've seen Johannes is very good overhead. <laughs> Former world record holder in the axle, of course. He held it for about a minute. Up goes number four. Arho in the lead. Koklaev, of course, just used to jerking an Olympic weightlifting bar. This is much more awkward on the chest. Arho nails five just. 
Well, these huge logs proving very difficult to deal with. Up goes number six for Orho, yes. And Kuklaev. Well, he only gets four. That's pretty disappointing for the Russian. Down in eighth position overall. He needed a big event there. Brian Shaw, long way to go for him to get it from floor to overhead. Has two Terry Hollands. Brian looking to consolidate that position on the podium. In third place overall. Of course, Hollands. Well, he'll look for a big number here if he's going to get up into the top five. I think his chances of making uh, top three Hollands are pretty poor now. He, of course, came third last year. Up goes Brian Shaw, nailing number three, and Terry looks like he's cramping a little bit. He's had problems with that in the past. These contests go so fast, it's hard to catch your breath. Number four for Shaw, and Hollins does the third. With a very similar weight last year in the World's Strongest Man final. Terry didn't get any reps, so uh, at least it's an improvement on that. He's really built for singles, Terry, not for repetitions. Oh, just misses it on the whistle. Brian gets four, Terry three, and disappointment for Terry, who looked like he had just about enough in the tank to get that four. But when you got Sven Carlson refereeing you, you really have to take it on the chin. Sven's not going to give away any easy reps, former world record holder. Ortmeier against Felix. Ortmeier on the left, Felix on the right, and it's the Texan who's first up. And again. Felix from Blackburn in England, formerly from Grenada. Formerly a bodybuilder as well. Travis goes up. Number four. Felix two looking solid. Oh, little stagger there. Gets his legs into it. And no, he doesn't. So Ortmar out on five. Another one, and he's in the lead. Tied with Johannes Arho on six reps. Yeah, he's done it. Felix, though, run out of power and time. Three reps for the Brit. So that brings out the final pairing. <laughs> Someone calling for ten there. Louis Philippe Jean. This is a very good event for the Canadian. I think he could push Poundstone here. Well, he's first to, to getting it overhead, but Poundstone was more clinical. Poundstone doesn't even rest it on his shoulders. Look at the power. Up it comes, and he just keeps pressing it. A very unique technique, and that needs some wild power to pull off. Jean does three. Poundstone up on five, surely Derek can do seven. Equals Ortmeier and Arho. This one for the victory again. Oh, and as easy as the first one. Jean does five. Up goes eight. <laughs> These are just for show now. Can he get a ninth? Time running out. Jean does six, and that is quite a crucial rep to do. Poundstone finishes on nine, and Jean manages to tie with Johannes and Travis Ortmar. Look at the technique of Poundstone. Bang! Straight off the waist, up over the chest. Doesn't rest it at all. It's... Give me one word about this guy. What do you think? <laughs> it's, I want to be like that next year. <laughs> I could train forever. I'd never be like that. Derek, man, five out of five. Let's talk about the stones. Six out of six. Is it possible? Oh, yeah, it's possible. 
you know, you have an advantage when, you're, when you have a lead because it gives you a different mindset. I'm used to coming from behind. You know, anyone that knows me knows that we just tend to screw up an event here and there. Today I'm firing on all cylinders. The crowd definitely helps out. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Now, Derek, last year, no one did these stones. This year, no one did them in Madison Square Garden either. Please, are you going to do them for us, all five, the heaviest set ever this year? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I know I can do it, hopefully it's a race. Hope these guys have a, a little bit of fuel left in the tank. We put on a show for you guys. Heaviest stone series ever, so you guys got to be nice and loud for us. If you don't, if you don't do it, Ormar says he certainly will. <laughs> oh, I know Travis, he's a good stone loader, but I think I got him today. Where is he? He's hiding somewhere. <laughs> Hey, listen, let's hear it for Derek. Five out of five. So, Poundstone way out on his own on nine reps. He really is in a class of his own. Jean, Arjo, and Ortmeier all on six. And that's done Arjo some favors. He hangs on to fifth. Louis Philippe Jean, though, jumps to third position. And there's a real battle for second, third, and fourth. So here we are down to the final event, and it's the classic. It's the Atlas Stones. Five stones, and we're finishing on a world record, 475 pounds. I say it's a world record because it has never been done. It wasn't done last year. It wasn't done the year before. Will they do it this time? Head-to-head, -head, Terry Hollands versus Misha Kuklaev. Koklaev on the right, Hollands on the left in those trademark pink socks of his. Oh, a little bit of a slip for Terry, who uh, was cramping badly in the last event. Not much left in the tank for Terry Hollands, he's tired. No one has ever done that fifth stone here. It is just ludicrously big. Up goes four for Kuklaev. And he's taken his time, and you wonder whether it's to try and save energy for this last stone. Can he even get it off the floor? Last year, no one could even get it off the floor. Huh. It's as if it's grown roots. That thing is just stuck down to the floor. So heavy, so big. And Kuklaev, four stones in 26 seconds is uh, the current leader. Terry, three and 23. And Mark Felix coming back off a biceps injury at World's Strongest Man in Charleston, West Virginia last year, lifting the stones. This will be a hard event for him. Johannes Arho, not a bad stone lifter either. I say not a bad, a world-class stone lifter, but... Uh, and you compare him to Poundstone and Ortmeier, probably a little bit down. And it's Felix who's... Oh, mistake from Mark Felix. Tried to throw that stone. And it weighs uh, 300 pounds, 140 kilos. It's a big old stone. And Arjo's grabbed the chance to go into the lead. Well, if neither men do this fourth stone, Arjo's got him by uh, a couple of tenths of a second there. Well, for Mark Felix, it, it's great just to see him back in competition. For sure he's not back on top form yet, but... Uh, oh! I'm sure Felix of last year would have nailed that fourth stone and given the fifth a go. But uh, he still has some way to come back from that injury. Time's up, uh, Felix 3 in 20.9, Arho 3 in 20.4. Close, just a few tenths of a second in it. Well, Louis-Philippe Jean needs to nail a good set of stones here if he's going to stay in third position ahead of Brian Shaw. Top three will go to World's Strongest Man automatically. So something... <laughs> More than prize money at stake here, more than pride. It's a chance to go to the grand final. Shaw goes up, drops the third on. He's quicker than Louis-Philippe Jean. 
And uh, he threw it on so hard, it went on to Shaw's platform. Up goes the fourth, and Shaw could do this fifth stone. Time's ticking away, though. 25 seconds to go. He's got to get that tacky glue on his hands right. And then give it a whirl. Up goes number four for Louis-Philippe Jean. This is all going to come down to points as to who's on the podium. I think it'll work out. Shaw will come third. Can he get this fifth stone, though? No one's ever done it in the history of Strongman. This 475 pound stone, up it goes, but was the time over? I don't know. The referee is looking at his watch. Jean does four stones. That we know for sure. He doesn't even know yet what a huge call that was from Edmonds. Brian, you were one second late. I think you should give it to me. That's what I think. Hey! Well, I don't think Gregor Edmonds has made many friends here. Probably not welcome in Denver, Colorado either, but it was the fair call. Derek Poundstone, Mohegan Sun champion last year. He will be champion again this year, up against Travis Ortmeier. These two guys pretty much settled as first and second now. This is more about pride. Poundstone always says it's in his name. He is the best stone lifter, but Ortmeier calls himself the stone man, and he's leading right now. Up goes three. Poundstone trying to keep up. This looks like being the first event. Poundstone can lose. He's won five out of five, but this is all Ortmar. The Texas Stone Man has done it. And in a time of 26.18 seconds, totally pumped. And can Poundstone finish on the fifth? Oh, just a couple of inches away. But unlike World's Strongest Man, when he uh, just missed the podium by a couple of inches with the fifth stone, this time it doesn't matter because he is the Mohegan Sun champion. He doesn't need to do it. Four stones in 24 seconds. And Derek Poundstone is the champion again. Hey, you did all five. What a great way to end. And your second. <laughs> I got nothing left. I had nothing left going into that. I don't know who came out and did those stones for me, but he, he did a hell of a job, and I thank him. <laughs> but really, I got to hand it to Derek here. He's on fire all day. Couldn't let him win every event, though. What a performance, Derek. You must be loving this. A great day on home soil. Absolutely. I couldn't ask for anything better, you know. Uh, you know, if I just went into this last event, I mean, having already sewn it up, all I want to do is load that last stone. Missed it before. Missed it in Madison Square Garden. Missed it here last year. So that's all I wanted. Nah, it sucks, you know. Hey, hey, can you win World's Strongest Man this year? Oh, absolutely. That's why I'm uh, out here doing this. Uh, I want to, you know, you don't compete to lose. I want to win it this year, you know, no more second places. Atlas Stones and Ortmeier takes honors this time. First man to ever do all five stones. Poundstone, though, right behind in second place, and he's way out in front, one point off the maximum 60. Poundstone first, Ortmeier second, Shaw in third. USA one, two, three.